St. John's traveled to Fairfax to battle Paul VI in a big WCAC showdown Thursday night. The cadets were looking to avenge a 20-point defeat to the Panthers suffered earlier this season. Let's pick up the action in the second quarter. Paul VI looking to go on a run. Dorsey will drop the dime to Josh Reeves who throws down the alley-oop. The Panthers take a 21-15 lead. The Panthers keep it going here off of a St. John's miss. They will go down the floor. Dorsey dishes it to Curtis Jones for the three ball. Panthers go ahead 32-25. But the cadets not going to fold this time around. James Palmer would lead the comeback off the dribble. He will hit this three. Then later in the second period, the cadets, good ball movement. They swing it around. And they will go inside Mike Morsell for the bucket to make it a one-point game. Palmer would continue his hot shooting. And check out this play. He drops the three ball, giving St. John's a 34-33 lead. The game would continue to be a tight one going into the fourth quarter. Both coaches trying to make some final adjustments as the teams prepared for the stretch run. PVI would get things started in the fourth. Derrickson with the ball, and he will pass it out to Reeves, who will pull up, hits the bucket, PVI, leading 64-63 with just about two minutes to play. Both coaches look at the pressure as they can feel the tension mounting in this high-stakes game. A minute to play, St. John's trying to take the lead, and it's going to be Palmer with it, going to the basket. What's the call? It's a block, not a charge, and one St. John's with the bucket. Cadets lead 68-66, 40 seconds to go. PVI would answer. They hit their free throws. We're all tied at 68 with 10 seconds to play. St. John's would have the last shot and the last possession of regulation. Could they end it? They get the ball to Trey Campbell. He's looking for an opening. He will get it to Anderson. Shot flake, and he puts it up, and it's good. The Cadets win 71-68. What a shot. St. John's storming the floor and they stake their claim to the top spot in the conference. St. John's was led by 21 points for Morsell. Anderson had 14, Palmer had 14, Campbell had 9, and Bryant had 8. Meanwhile, the Panthers were led by 19 points from Taylor. Dorsey had 13, Derrickson had 10, and Reeves had 10. Here's what the cadets had to say about the big win. We tried to run something, kind of broke down a little bit, and uh, it's a benefit of having seniors. Uh, Trey trusted Darian to make a play, he made a great ball fake, and he's a good player, knocked it down. I think it's important because they beat us on our home floor, so we wanted to make sure that we kind of even the score more than anything, um, and, and we did. Uh, you know, they, they smacked us, and uh, I, think, I think it woke us up, and uh, we really just want to come in here and have no statements, just get it back, get, get it even it out, because you don't want to lose at home. Well, we got down nine or ten, I think, the first half, and uh, we gutted up and we got stops, which is important. And we rebound during that stretch. I mean, we're again, we get crushed in the glass. Everybody knows it, but we get enough times where we we did get box outs towards the end. We started covering the middle of the lane, and, and the guys were helping each other, which was nice to see. So the measuring stick is we just improved. That's really it. I just knew we had to make a play, so we just draw. Oh, we just ran motion, and whoever got it decided to end it took it. <laughs> I was just ready for whatever that happens because I know like shots like that don't uh, come off that, so you got to be ready for whatever comes. Uh, my teammates do a good job of finding me. I just let the game come to me, and I had to get in the flow, help my team win. Awesome. Uh, yeah, that 20-point loss, that was that was definitely uh, I, went, I mean, it was embarrassing, but it was definitely humbling because we was definitely high on ourselves. But we just came out here today prepared, and we came out here with the victory.